Ciao ragazzi! My name is Edina and in today's video we are going to spend three days in Rome and going to visit all the most important sites. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right now so you are not going to miss any of the upcoming videos. And right now, let's get to visit Rome! Finally back on the road! This is my third trip since one and a half year, so I'm just so excited to be back in here! Ah! So far this is a beautiful room, also I would say the interior of the hotel is very nice and the receptionist is very very kind and was uh, answering for all of our questions, so I recommend you to check out this hotel. You can see that our hotel really just a few steps away from the Colosseum is just right behind me, so we just have to come down in this only one street and we are in the city center. First stop on the itinerary is going to be the world famous Colosseum and I'm sure that this is one of the most known sites in the whole world so let's get going inside In total there are 80 gates around the Colosseum and it's just so crazy that 2000 years ago people had a ticket and it was wrote on it the number of the gate, also the number of their seat and the row, so they were very improved back in the times. Here are some fun facts about the Colosseum. Actually, it took 10 years to build it with 60,000 slaves. So it's just crazy how many people was working in here. And they were using 100,000 tons of marble for the whole building. And actually, you can see it in here, the arena part. In the middle, you can see the area where the gladiators and the animals were kept. And there are a few levels where people were sitting. As, of course, like nowadays, the rich dudes like senators and knights were sitting downstairs, closest to the action. But after, in the next level, was the uh, rich and the poor citizens. Maybe you know that the leader of the empire could decide on the gladiator's life with a simple hand movement, so it was thumbs up or thumbs down, and you know that was your job. If you want this channel to keep alive, then thumbs up. There were more type of gladiator events in here in the arena. There were regular fights. There was also huntings when they was going after the animals. But there were also times when they felt that the arena with water bring smaller ships so they could make also naval battles in here. And it was more than one million animals kept in here. Uh, there were lions, tigers, hippos, elephants, zebras, so so many type of animals. Here is a pro tip guys, I know that you casually want to lay in on these fences just for a photo but in previously I just touched it and right now it's just so hot that it's burned down my whole flesh so don't do it, don't touch it. Okay. 
next to the Colosseum you can basically buy anything. In here there are guys who are selling hats, umbrellas, cold water, even charger for your phone. So it's just crazy. But there was a very nice guy and I just got a free bracelet. So you know, you just have to talk with them and you will get something also in free of charge. You can also visit the Palatine here and the Forum Romanum with the same ticket as for the Colosseum. And actually this is an opener theater where you can find so many ancient ruins and the garden is also very very beautiful. So I think it's worth to visit also this area. This garden area is just so amazing. There are full of different type of uh, flowers and plants and trees. There are palm trees, cactuses, uh, many many olive trees, also citruses. So it's so you know lush and green in here in the middle of the city. It's such a vibe. Rome was built on seven hills and Palatine Hill was basically one of them, one of the most famous ones. And all of the rich nobles were living in here. So you can find uh, the ancient pieces of their houses and palaces in here. Here is a pro tip. In here on the Palatine Hill, you can find so many fun things where you can get ice cold water. So if, you, if your bottle is already empty, just you can refill it in here. We just finished the late lunch in this place behind me. It's very close to the Forum Romanum, but honestly, I cannot suggest you. It was very touristy. Uh, this wasn't really the best pizza experience of our life. Uh, probably because I also told for them we get a gratis limoncello, so that was a good point. The coffee was okay, but it wasn't the best food. I think many people don't know, but actually you can even find a pyramid in the middle of Rome. We just arrived to our next destination, but apparently we were a little bit late because Bocca della Verità, so the most of Tours is already closed. So this is the closest how we can get. We were making jokes on it that it's worse to be an archaeologist in here in Rome. But really, it's just so true that if you are just walking in here on a simple street and you can find so many beauties, so many history around, there is always some beautiful building or a corner what you can admire. So I think it's just a beautiful city. About 20 minutes walk later we have arrived to the Capitolium building. What I must say is spectacular, the building is just huge. So I think it's really a monument of the city.
finally we arrived to the very famous Fontana di Trevi, but as you can see, we are not all alone in here. You can see that there are so many people in here around Fontana di Trevi, but I think it's still manageable. We could still take photos and enjoy also from close. So I really suggest you to come to Rome right now if you had the chance because tourists already started to come in back but it's still not overloaded so I think it's a really enjoyable time right now. In every day people are throwing around 3000 euro worth coins into the fountain and they are always collected overnight and used for charity reasons. We just arrived back to the hotel, it's already almost 11 p.m. so we are very tired, our feet, you know, are just dying. So right now we are going to sleep and we are going to meet tomorrow. Bye! Good morning, here is day two of our Rome trip. Uh, right now we're just going to have breakfast and after starting the day going into the Vatican. There's some weird stuff going on here. We just started our tour in here in the Vatican Museum, but you can see that it's spectacular. All these sailings are painted and there are also paintings on the walls, but in the previous room we could see rocks. So it's just beautiful. It's very, very detailed. So, so far I'm amazed. We just came out from the Sistine Chapel and I think maybe not everyone going to agree with me but for me it was a little bit disappointing. Uh, I expected something different and uh, I felt that inside the Vatican Museum everything is so detailed and there are so many paintings that I didn't feel that big difference sewing those ones instead of the others. Uh, I think it's worth to have a visit, but maybe it's not such a huge experience as you expect. If you want, you can take home Caesar with yourself and it only costs 230 euros. behind me you can see the very famous Lao Kong group. Let's be prepared that the Vatican Museum is just huge. We already spent in here three hours and I think we just even still see a small part of the whole exhibition so this is totally your decision that how much time do you want to spend in here but right now we are going to head into the St. Peter's Basilica This square is huge, the building itself is also huge
basically in any attraction you can find a airport style security check same in here so be prepared that in everywhere they're going to scan your package Inside the basilica you have to wear something what is covering also your shoulders and also your knees so be prepared like that. Uh, right now I just was bringing this uh, light shirt with me so I could put it on my dress and it's covering my shoulders right now. Measured by the size of the interior, this is the largest church in the whole world. In every hour you can check the change of the Swiss guards. So far we had a gratis limoncello everywhere, so cheers! Our next stop is going to be Piazza Navona. Just a few steps away from the Piazza Navon, you can also find the Pantone. One of the most important part of the building is that the sailing is empty so there is no coverage on the top so it means if it's raining the rain is coming right into the building. steps what you can see behind me basically this is the widest staircase in the world and it's got its name because the Spanish embassy over there is connected with the square below Good morning, here is our third and last day in here in Rome but basically this is also just going to be a half day as in the afternoon maybe I have to catch our flight but until we are going to visiting a park which is really really close to our hotel and actually on the first day I was mentioning for you that Rome was built on seven hills and this park is going to be an other hill so we have been already in Palatine here and this is going to be an other one. I can already see people are running in here apart but there are a few of them who are doing also street workout so this shows that uh, locals are really using this place uh, it's not just a tourist attraction and I want to say that uh, the atmosphere of the park is really really nice so I think it's just a good thing to walk up into here And 
right now, let's have some church tour. And of course, before we are leaving Rome, let's eat a great pizza and drink an aperol. And one last great gelato before we are leaving Rome. Mm. So this is the end of our Rome trip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, then don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe. And we are going to explore new places next week in the next video. See you guys.